Hello and welcome back to the channel. The Behringer Wave Designer FX plugin works great on percussive instruments. So let's talk about the Wave Designer and take a listen to it too. For this demo, I'll put it on the kick and the snare. The Wave Designer is an effect that you will want to insert on your desired channel or channels. You can use one or both channels. They don't even have to be consecutive channels. We're looking at the XR18 here, but it works the same for the Behringer X32 or the Midas M32 as well. Before we listen to the demo, let's take a look at the controls and what they do. There are two channels on this effect, an A and a B channel. It works by manipulating the waveform and it is not an EQ. First, there is attack. Attack can accentuate or with negative settings, de-emphasize the initial transient of the source instrument. It can make a dull percussive sound come to life or with negative settings, make an excessively clicky kick drum or bass guitar fall back into the mix if that's what you want. Next is sustain. Sustain can extend the sound or it can shorten the sound. Longer settings can make an acoustic kick drum sound more like a Roland TR-808. Negative settings can shorten the sound, but without the abruptness of a gate. On snare, adding sustain can bring out more of the snare wires by giving them more time on each initial hit of the snare in the mix. Then we have gain. When you add attack or sustain, the effective level of the signal will increase. Gain lets you reduce the level back to normal. With negative attack and sustain, the level will decrease, so the gain can be used to bring the signal back up to normal. Both sides have the same controls. It's simply two independent units. I have the A channel on my kick and the B channel on my snare. I recommend setting your source, in this case our kick and snare, as you normally would. Then adjust the wave designer to fine tune the sound. As we listen, I'll start the demo showing my settings on the kick and the snare, and then I'll adjust the wave designer and let you hear what the wave designer settings can do. The settings are subjective, and I'm not saying these settings are what I would always use. 
I'm just showing what the controls can do so that you can hear the possibilities for situations in your own mixes. Since the Wave Designer manipulates the transient of the sound wave, that makes it work really well for percussive instruments like drums. But it can also be used on any instrument with a lot of attack that you might want to accentuate or even pull back that attack, like slap bass for example, or an upright bass. As one user said on the community forum, he likes it to wake up dead toms, which is a perfect use. With the X32 and the M32, you have more effect slots to choose from, so you can use more instances of the Wave Designer than on the XR units. I'll upload this XR18 scene and these drum tracks to the Patreon page so patrons can experiment with this if they want to. I'll leave a link here for drum EQ tips that you might want to check out. If you like information like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications, share the videos to help support the channel, Check out the affiliate links in the text below, and I will see you next time.